Hi, this is Juste, Head of Developer Relations at Rasa. Today I would like to show you how you can install Rasa open source on your Ubuntu machine. In this video, I will be showing a step-by-step -step installation process on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, but the covered instructions should apply to other Ubuntu versions as well. Let's open a terminal and start with configuring the installation environment. To install Rasa open source, you need Python 3.6 or Python 3.7 installed on your machine. By default, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS comes with Python 3.6. To check that you have the correct version, type Python 3-- version, which will print out the currently installed Python version on your machine. As you can see, right now I have Python 3.6.9 installed on my machine. You should also check if pip, a package manager for Python, is installed on your machine and which version it is. You can do that by typing pip3 dash dash version. At the moment, it is missing from my machine, so I'll show you how you can install pip and Python in case it is missing from your machine as well. First, run the command sudo apt update. This will download package information from all configured sources. And finally, run sudo apt install python3-dev for Python installation and python3-pip for pip installation. After running the command, check the Python and pip versions once again to make sure that they both are installed and meet the requirements. To check the Python version, type python3 dash dash version and to check the pip version type pip3 dash dash version. The recommended way to install Rasa open source is using virtual environments. Virtual environments allow you to create isolated environments for your Python projects. This allows you to separate the dependencies specific to your projects and avoid possible conflicts with other dependencies on your system. First, create a directory for your Rasa projects. It can be stored anywhere on your machine. I will do that on my desktop. Here, I will create a directory called Rasa projects using the command mkdir Rasa projects and navigate to this directory using the command cd Rasa projects. Here, I will be installing Rasa open source, but before doing so, I will make sure that I have vnv, a module which supports creating virtual environments, installed on my machine. This can be done by running the following command, sudo apt install python3 dash vnv. Once it is installed, we can create a virtual environment where we will install Rasa open source. This can be done by running the following command, Python 3-m vnv and specifying the path of where the files of virtual environment should be stored. Let's call it vnv as well. Not much will happen after running this command, but if we check our current working directory by running ls, we will see that we now have a directory vnv created here. Now let's activate the virtual environment. To do that, we have to source the activate script, which is placed inside the bin folder of our virtual environment directory. So let's type source dot forward slash vnv forward slash bin forward slash activate. You will know that your virtual environment is activated by checking your working environment. Inside the parentheses, you should see the name of your virtual environment. Now, we are ready to install Rasa open source. First, let's make sure that pip is up to date by running pip install u pip. This will upgrade pip to the latest available version. And now we can install Rasa open source by typing pip install Rasa. The installation will take a few minutes and it will install the latest available Rasa version on our machine. Once the installation process is finished, we can check which version of Rasa open source we have on our machine by typing rasa dash dash version. The quickest way to get started with building conversational AI systems with Rasa is by running Rasa init function. 
This will create an example assistant called Moodbot with all the necessary configuration files and some example training data, which you can use as a basis for your own custom assistant. Specify the directory in which you would like the assistant files to be stored. I will call it Raza Assistant. And after the models are trained, we can talk to it. Moodbot is a very simple conversational AI assistant, which will ask you how you feel. And if you are unhappy, it will try to cheer you up. So let's have a quick chat. I'll start the conversation by saying hello. An assistant asks me how I feel and let's say I'm a bit sad. And here it is, an assistant tried to cheer me up by sending a link to this picture of a cute tiger cub that definitely made me feel better. So this is how you can install Raza open source on your Ubuntu machine and set up your first Raza assistant. You can build on top of it make changes and keep exploring a very interesting world of conversational AI. Make sure to check out the Raza documentation for more tutorials and lots of other details, and I'll see you the next time.